Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Booms. In this video, we'll cover from Power BI, how can you connect to Snowflake? Let's see what is the requirement. Okay, from the Power BI, I want to communicate or connect with Snowflake and I want to create a simple dashboard. Let's say Power BI and Snowflake integration. Okay, so to, in order to uh, achieve this requirement, you should have like what are the prerequisite? Okay, one Snowflake account, one Power BI. And Snowflake, little bit of Snowflake basic, like table creation, database creation, all these things. And like visualization, like some basic tools or like bars, like a one chart, column chart, anything like that. So you should have Snowflake account, Power BI, Snowflake basics, and Power BI basics. Okay. Oh, this is clear. So a little bit see. Okay, Snowflake basics. What first I'll create the database, create a replace database, database name in a similar fashion. Create a replace schema, schema name. Okay, so database first database should be created, then schema should be created, then what? Simple table. Okay, first we should have Snowflake account, then database should be created, schema, then table. Okay, so this is the database, dev db, dev schema, and this is a table. Okay, got it. Now we'll see what now we'll log in into Power BI. Okay, so see this thing. Okay, so I already have the Power BI. Okay, so see Power BI desktop. So click on the Power BI desktop. Okay, so see this thing. Like this, we'll get. Okay. Close this thing. Now what happened? Click on get data. So when to click on get data, so see we need to okay. So now we are having Excel or BA data like this. Okay, we need to go for click on more. It will take some time. One second. Okay, so say this thing. Okay, it's getting a little bit of a see. Search for Snowflake. Okay, send more. Click on Snowflake. Okay. Click it for connect. Okay. So one more time. Okay. Click on get data. So okay, so we are having Excel, Power BI, so different other SQL server. Okay. So now we want what? More. Click on more. Search for Snowflake database. Okay, so it will take some time. Okay. Okay, search for snowflake okay so click on snowflake okay so click on snowflake click on connect now what happen if i want to connect to snowflake first what i said okay we need to have one snowflake account. so before that okay we need to go to snowflake let's see what happened okay so this is my snowflake account okay so before that first we should create what one database create database rabin dev db okay see this thing database has been created in a similar fashion create scheme Create schema Pravin dev underscore s. Okay, schema also created. Okay, now what happened? Okay, I'm trying to create simple one table. Okay, click on this thing. Table got created. Okay, in a similar fashion. So insert some record. Okay, so see up to six records. I'm trying to insert. Okay, see if I select select star from Employee. Now this is what okay. I'm trying to see the data. Okay, so select start from right now. How many cards? Six cards are there. We are having the salary okay. So like the salary. Okay. Now so far this is good. Okay, now we are having six cards. Okay, understand. Now what we are trying to do from Snowflake, we are trying to access the Snowflake account, Snowflake database, Snowflake database, and I want to create from this table. I want to create one chart. Okay, got the point. So one more time from Power BI. Okay, I want to. Communicate or connect to the power B, to the Snowflake Rabin Dev DB and schema. And I want to access this employee table. Okay, got it. So see what happened. Okay, from Power B, I want to come connect to Snowflake account and this database and this schema and this table. I want to access. Got it. So now before that, what I okay, go to the power B. What we want? We want server. Okay, how to get a server? Okay, click on this thing. Okay, go here. Okay, go to the home. So click on this thing. Okay, scroll down. Okay. So we need to check this value. Click on copy account URL. Okay. So one more time. Okay, go to the home. Scroll down. See, this is our okay. So click on this value. So we need to select our value. Okay, this is the value. Copy this. You see, copy account URL. Okay, click on this thing. Now this one got okay. Now go back here and paste it. So before okay, we don't want HTTP. Okay, remove these things. Okay. 
and what okay go to this thing now we want warehouse okay so warehouse okay. so what the warehouse go back here so warehouse is what okay click on this thing. so we're having the compute wh compute wh is the warehouse so this is my warehouse name. compute wh okay so this is okay the server name and we need to give the compute warehouse okay click on okay Work a little bit slow, it'll be the first time a connection process. Okay. Now, what happened? Okay, so this is already there. Okay, so click on this thing. Okay, so Pravin Dev, we need to give the user ID and password okay. so that you see Pravin Dev. Okay. Pravin Dev schema. Okay, so click on employee. So we need to give the username and password. Okay, so see, this is the value. Okay, click on this thing, click on this value, click on load. You'll see one more. Okay, click on import. Okay. So first time connection will be like a little bit stock. Okay, see what happened. Okay, so see this data. Okay, so see this thing. Okay, data is okay, see what happened. Okay, six records are there. If you don't know, go back and see this data. We're having same six records has been populated. Okay, what data? So say same six records has been populated. Okay. Now what happened? Okay, now go to this thing. Okay, now we'll try to create one chat. Okay, so see, click on anything. Okay, so you can able to go for clustered column chat. Click on this thing. So now what happened? We'll get the data here. So employee ID. So see what happened. Okay, I'll go for employee name. Okay, so take this value and put here. So let's do it. So like this are basics. Okay, you should understand this. See, in a similar fashion, go for salary. Okay, click on this thing. Okay, in a similar fashion. Now suppose if I want to go okay, salary details. Okay. So see this thing. Okay, see. 95,000. Okay, see what? 75,000, 55,000. Okay, like this, you can clear us so far. Okay, see both are 50,000. That's the same. Now, what happened? Okay, now, okay, we need to highlight say this. Okay, these are not good. Okay, we need to go back here. Click on this thing. Okay, format your view. So click for x axis. You see bold. Okay, this thing getting bold. Okay, so see. Okay, this is x axis and this is y axis. So we increase the size, okay, so 50. And click for bold, okay, got the pointer like this way. Okay. If you want to change the color, we can able to change the color. Okay, like this, basics only, okay, this just I want to show. So you can able to have this thing, okay, this way, okay, and not good. Okay. Black, okay, same thing, got the pointer, suppose let it higher, okay, so 16, 70. Okay, so. We got the pointer, so like this. Okay, now see this employee name. Okay, we want to put some other value. We'll put all these things. Got it as of now. Any words as of now? Okay, so title. Employee salary details. Okay, see, we are getting the same value. Okay, scroll down. Okay, click for bold and put bigger value, which is 70. We got the pointer like this way, okay. Like this, okay. You need to put so in a similar fashion, okay. Go to the y axis. So, this is x axis we perform in a similar fashion. Go to y axis. Salary range. So see, we are getting the same salary range. Okay, scroll down. Okay, if you want to have bold color, bold color, same size 70. Yes, 70 salary. You got it. So, like this way, okay. So, x axis and y axis we are trying to put. Okay, so in a similar fashion, scroll down. Okay, and what happened is heading also I want to change. So, go to click on general. So, go for title, employee, salary, dashboard. Okay. So click for board. So we want to in middle. Okay, so scroll down. So we can able to click on middle. So it will get middle. So click for seven, something like something. So employee salary dashboard. So so far, please.
So see like this again, what happened? Okay, suppose you see right now, how many cards are there? 60 cards are there. Now go back here, okay, and insert few more cards. We'll see whether it will come out. I'm trying to insert seventh card. Suppose I'm putting seventh card. So, okay. And I'm putting one leg. Okay, one leg. You see what happened? One more card has been inserted. Okay, see right now how many cards here? We'll get seven records. Okay. So there right now you see what happened. Okay, we'll get only six records. Okay, now go back here. Okay, click on this thing, right click on this thing, click for refresh data. See what happened right now? Six records are there, and here we are having seven records. Okay. Now go back and try to refresh it. You see refresh data. So what happened? Okay, it will get restored. Rest. See what happens to six, we'll get seven three. Okay, see, got it as Suresh record has been popped. Okay, suppose we are out now, we'll, we'll try to insert one more record. Okay, we'll get it. Suppose eighth record, or something like that. Okay, suppose like one lakh twenty thousand. Try to insert this record. Now we'll get what we'll get eight records here. Okay, now we'll get here seven records. Okay, now what happens? Click on this thing, refresh data, we'll get one lakh twenty thousand. Okay, so it's a dynamically we can able to refresh this thing but one time like this way. Okay. So this is the way so you can able to get the things clear. Okay. Okay. So like this we can able to get clear so far. Like this is a simple thing. Okay. What we are trying to do one more time. Okay. So we are trying to okay from power BI, we are trying to connect to Snowflake database by using the server name, username, and password you need to give. Okay, so then only we can able to same username and password you need to give. So then we can able to get okay, and if we want to get the data, we can able to do like this. Got it? Sign it out, Sasuna. So simple thing. Okay, try to create. Okay, so okay, data will get dynamically. If I try to refresh, whatever data will get automatically refreshed. Okay. So right. So clear okay, so far. Like this, we can able to get. Okay, so click on get data. So see more. Click on more. Okay. One more time, trying to see. Okay, more. Click search for Snowflake. Okay. So see one second. It will take some time so on. So we need to search for Snowflake. We need to get the username and password. Okay, so Snowflake. Okay. Search for Snowflake. Okay. Snowflake. Click on Snowflake. Connect. So we need to get the server name. Okay. So if you have a server name and we need to have the warehouse. Okay, so warehouse. And what happened? We take the username. Okay, so you need to get the username. See? How to get the username? Click on select current user. Okay. So we need to give the username and the password. Okay, login. Okay, Snowflake credentials we need to give. Then only we can able to get it. Okay. So I already have login. That's why it's not asking. Okay. See, we need to give the okay account server name and what we need to give the warehouse okay. and click on okay. How to get this server name? One more time I'll explain. Okay, go back here. So click on this thing, go to home, go okay, go to home. Okay. Scroll down, click on this thing. So we need to take our value. Okay. Okay, then copy this. Okay, copy account URL. Go back here. Paste here. Okay, remove this value. Okay. And what's the warehouse? Compute warehouse. Compute WH. Okay. Click on OK. Okay, we already know, like we can already there. Okay, we need to okay. So we already have created this thing. That's why it's creating it. Okay. If I try to create one more table, you need to get all these things. Okay, so if you want to use this thing, it's like this again. Hope this is clear. So like this, we can do that. Okay. So from Power BA, we are connecting to Snowflake and getting the data, and we are trying to create a dashboard. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.